What's good, y'all? It's your boy Zay, man. Welcome back to another video with the Gen X. And first off, bro, I appreciate y'all for watching, man. So, without further ado, man, let's go ahead and get into it. Today, I want to talk about the importance of maintaining your rap, man. Keeping it washed, making sure everything is good with it, you know what I'm saying? Because even from the first day I got my car wrapped, literally the first day, I was driving behind a truck, you know, you know them big trucks that carry rocks, like dump truck stuff. And they, a whole bunch of rocks came off and messed up my wrap in the front. And that was the very first day. So I was just thinking about it, bro. I've had my car wrapped for over two years now. I know the exact day because I just looked at it in my gallery, bro. I had my car wrapped and it was finished on February 20th, 2022, bro. Shout out to my boy Proud as a Rap Lab, man. But yeah, bro, it's been over two years and I've been noticing some things with my wraps. With my wrap, excuse me. The most important thing is, man, if you're getting a light color wrap, you really have to make sure you always washing your car, bro. And one thing I don't do, I don't wash my car every week because, bro, I'm a busy man. I got a lot of hobbies and stuff like that. But also, in the colder months, where I live at, we have like a car wash, you know what I'm saying? And it's free to use, so that's what I do. And they turn the water off because, of course, it'll freeze and whatnot. So I didn't wash my car over the cold months at all. And when I can, you know, it'd be hot outside. But when I can, I come out here and wash my car, bro, and, you know, the season's like this. So, bro, my car has, like, stains and stuff like that. Now, the darker parts, like the carbon fiber, which I'll show you, you can't tell nothing on it. You can't tell no scratches, no nothing, bro, because that's just, you know, the nature of it, man. You have a black car, you're not going to be able to see the dirt on it, like, if you have a white car, you know what I'm saying? So, let me go ahead and show y'all some of the damage, man. <sighs> go ahead and start with the back because the back is really the worst part bro because of course around my exhaust all these fumes and stuff come off and you see how that's black right there and another thing about when you're washing your car and it's wrapped and stuff like that you want to kind of be careful of how you're like washing and i guess you could say moving the sponge or your microfiber towels and stuff like that because it is stained and it is smudge and you'll move the stains all the way around another bad spot i have it's always i don't know why but my car gets very dirty on the back i can't explain to you why like this right here i don't know if y'all can see that good now my car is dirty today most of that stuff will come off but this right here this is stained this does not come off anymore and i know y'all can see that little chip right there bro but what that is when you're not washing your car like at least i could say like every week that dirt will build up and it'll come to a time that you won't be able to get it off just like I had some stuff on the side. Oh yeah, here we go, right here. I do not know where this came from. I promise y'all, I did not hit nothing. I don't know where it came from. Maybe somebody hit me in the parking lot or something, but that right there will not come off. And what I learned was, I don't really want to use nothing too powerful on my car. Like, what's an example I can use, man? You know, like them car wash guns, people use stuff like that. I can't think of what it's called, like a phone gun or something like that, but well, I'm not even going to say that. I'm going to say, like, you know, when you go to a car wash, you have to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? And the water is, like, pressurized, and it's coming out real fast, stuff like that. I try not to do too much of that because I noticed when I was doing that sometimes, the wrapper start bubbling up. You know what I'm saying? I guess air or water was getting underneath it somehow or something like that. So I try not to do too much of that. But when I do wash it with a sponge stuff, I can't get some stains off. And I have to use my fingernail sometimes to actually, like, scrape the stuff off the wrap. So... That's one thing I noticed that I had to do. But, oh yeah, I almost forgot to show y'all, bud, man. almost forgot to show y'all. Bro, look. Of course, it's dirty, but this right here, this carbon fiber wrap right here, is not stained at all, bro. I promise you, you can't, you can't see no dirt or nothing. Of, well, you can see the dirt when it's dirty. But I'm talking about, like, as far as, you know, as you saw on the back, stain and stuff like that. And also, what I would say is, you know, hindsight is 2020, they say. But I wish I would have got maybe like a ceramic or protective wrap over the actual car wrap because, like I was telling y'all with the rock truck, look at that. This is this is all first day damage, bro. And some of this came over time, stuff like that. And you see, there's no damage right here because this is actually double wrap. Yeah, you can see small spots here. You can't really see it in pictures or nothing like that. But you know, if you actually walking up to the car and it's your own car, you notice stuff like that but there's none on the black part because that part is double wrapped and also is black so if it is and you look under that and it's black too you won't be able to tell because i wrapped that myself and then he just uh person that wrapped my car just rewrapped it but yeah also over time with your wrap 
you gonna have i don't know if it's just the person i installed i know it's not cheetah wrap because cheetah wrap has been holding up pretty good even for the parts where it does have like little nicks and whole stuff like that it is not peeling off anymore but over time you will have parts that peel and stuff like that and that also come with how you wash the car and stuff like that this right here what i would recommend is everybody need a heat gun man you can use it for all types of stuff i recommend getting a heat gun and when you see stuff like that just heat it up and place it back how it need to be and it's, it's just just a little simple stuff like that that can go a long way to help preserving your wrap and another thing is the doors bro this is a very this part well it's heavy use i'm gonna say it like that the doors are very heavy use because of course you got to open the door to get in and out in the car and that's gonna make it very dirty i don't know if i can see that good i don't know i might have to take a picture of it but under there under the door handle it's really scraped up and like real dirty and stuff like that and i try to clean it the best i can but i didn't really notice it at first so i really just now started doing that but yeah that's a heavy use part so of course your wrap is going to be a little scratched up and stuff like that right there and well i don't know if this is just me but my bumper does not ever go back on and when you have pieces that hang out like that with the wrap hanging out you want to make sure that well i don't really know how you would counter that per se i can't really put it into words i had a on spider on me y'all but anyways when you get in your car wrap bro just make sure everything is secure if you got any panels that come out often or whatnot make sure you keep an eye on those bro because you don't want the wrap to you know start to peel off from right there because that's what a wrap is really adhering to the car if you start if it starts to peel off from right there on the underneath parts it'll start lifting on the main parts if that makes sense like for example if i notice that it started peeling under the trunk right here it's going to start lifting and water's going to water air dirt debris is going to get under the wrap and you don't want that to happen and over time you have things like this see all these lighter spots for one i noticed that start happening happening when i was washing the car and i wasn't drying it and the water was just sitting on the wrap and for another i don't i also don't know why it happens but you really can't tell like especially in the sunlight because when that sun hit the wrap I don't know if it's just because that satin wrap but when that sun hit it you really can't it just always look good bro but man let's get back in the car bro it is hot out here oh yeah and the last point i want to mention let me turn that air off so you don't hear that the last point i want to mention about uh maintaining your wrap is when you use a microfiber towels i noticed i talked about it earlier but i ain't really talk about the scratching part you want to make sure you always using the soft side man you don't ever want to scratch up your wrap especially if you have carbon fiber like i do on the roof and the uh side mirrors you never want to scratch up the wrap with nothing like that and when you install and stuff of course i i can understand if you know you install a lip and you screwing it in or something like that but when you're doing that and you screw it into the wrap it'll start to you know tear out the wrap or it'll start to peel it off you know stuff like that so you also need to watch out for that and that's pretty much all i can think about in this video but yeah bro the the main key takeaway is from this is make sure to maintain your wrap especially if you want to keep it on your car for long now my wrap has been up here for two years and it's been outside every day for two years carbon fiber has not started to fade the wrap has aged well and i never i never had a garage bro when i was living with my mom we had a carport but i'm just parked outside bro and it has done no damage to my wrap of course well one time birds will of course i mean with anything nature bro birds will land on the car and especially if they're on your roof they will scratch up your roof i haven't had that happen to me but i have had it happen to my windshield bro and also this crack on my windshield got bigger because an acorn fell on it one time but that's that's a story for a different day bro but yeah man make sure to maintain your wrap especially if you want it to last for long for a long period of time bro and wraps are expensive bro money don't grow on trees out here bro but yeah man that's all i got for y'all boys bro appreciate y'all for watching stay tuned for the next hello man i'm gone this is what happens when you don't have no script, y'all. Also, I always want to make sure you're paying attention and maintaining, I call it your, I don't know, high impact spots. Like right here behind the wheels. And especially in these areas right here. Let me show y'all this other side. It's real dirty. Right here. That area where your wheels is kicking up a whole bunch of dirt and grime and asphalt and all this stuff. 
You want to make sure you pay attention to those parts and wash them good. Also, you don't want to take heed into what products you're using to wrap your car. I use pink shampoo, and before that, I used one that was specifically made for wraps. I can't think of what brand it is. I'm going to put it up here, though. But you want to make sure you're using the right stuff. You don't want to use nothing with, you know, high, a lot of stuff with wax in there and stuff like that because that started to eat at the wrap. So, yeah, man, that's another key point I want to put in there. And this is the end of this video, bro.